What is going on guys, Reggie Snipe for Reggie Gaming here, and today I'm going to show you how to get your own custom driver suit and helmet into R-Factor 2. So first things first, double click driver, and helmet, I've already got them open, come down to background color, and color it whatever color you want. I'm just going to go with a black and green color. The color of my sponsorship. Actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go I'm going to go this way with it, I think. No, that's not centered. There we go. And then go to decals and remove whatever decals you don't want and add in your own. So for example, I'm going to come to my graphics folder. I'm going to grab the number of my vehicle. And I'm going to move the numbers to where I want them. We're gonna double. We're gonna click one, shift click on the other, right click them, rasterize layer, merge that top layer down, and I am just going to leave it labeled as 65. Um, we'll go ahead and put something else on there. because put a flag on each side because I can do the same thing merge down and then well I guess I can leave that right there so that's done turn off the wireframe file save as TDS. You can see I've already got it. I've got. I've already got one saved. Alt underscore six five. Helmet. Save. and that looks like it, it has been saved so we can close that out click no and now the driver suit which is yet again a very simple task so we are going to go to this one go to green there click skin get rid of all of these text layers don't really need them like this one and we'll make that black and then on this one I will actually put the sponsor which is Catalyst Mints check them out if you haven't already use the link in the description below to check them out All right, so Catalyst Mints is on there. And I think we are good. So file. Nope. Forgot one thing. Turn off the wireframe. File. Save as. DDS. Alt. 65. Underscore. Driver. Save. And then we will put them where we need them. Once, okay, that's finished. 
so we can actually I'm just gonna minimize that for now find your R factor game install which mine is actually on a secondary hard drive so game installs steam 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 apps common R factor 2 user data that I just like completely moved player settings and go down to where you want them go into miscellaneous create the miscellaneous folder it's going to be easier if you create it and then paste those over to there Launch R Factor and see if they're there. Now, the helmet does not show up in the in the showroom, but it if you've done everything correctly, it should show up on your driver. Click on car, tune in. As you can see. The new driver suit is in there. But like I said, the helmet does not show unless you go to the track. So we will head on over to a track and see if the helmet got put into the game or not. And if I've done everything right, it should work. So we'll click race. And that was really loud. So as you can see, there's the helmet. Got the number on it, the flag on it. And it fits. <laughs> okay. So there you have it, guys. That is how you create a helmet and driver suit skin for R Factor 2. It's pretty easy. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can grab the templates that I used. And if you want to see another tutorial on how to skin a vehicle, let me know in the comment section below. But that's going to do it for this one, guys. And as always, I am Reggie Snipes for Reggie Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.